back to our team. Let's get to know the Texas coach a little bit more. Went to St. Ed's here in town, is from Angleton, led Fresno State to the NCAA tournament in 2015-2016. That was after a tremendous run here at the University of Texas as the top assistant under Rick Barnes. And RT, I did talk to Coach Barnes a little earlier today. I asked him to give me the rundown on RT, right? Give me the real scoop. And he says a few things. You know ball and you're loyal. You're the slowest eater ever. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got a real issue dropping people off at the airport. <laughs> where, where do you want to start with those wow. three there? Yeah, that's quite a bit right there with, with Coach Boris. Yep. Um, no, I do eat real slow. I like to I like I like to taste my food. Okay. You know, I think it's better for my digestive system as well to enjoy your food. Um, he and I had quite quite a few adventures on the recruiting trail. We're out there uh, recruiting and stuff, and I was always the driver, of course. He, yeah. He's that backseat driver all the time. <laughs> you know, but uh, but no, we had we had a lot of great experiences together. I tell you, uh, you know, we got coaching a home with with, uh, with players, and he was the ultimate closer and everything. But uh, we probably could write a book on our experiences together. Oh man, he, he is an all-time great, and, and and you're on your way. And really, just talked about how well you know the game and. And for you as a person, how loyal you are and what this place means to you. So let's get into that. Why the University of Texas for you and, and what does this place mean? Well, I'm a Texas native. I grew up in Angleton, Texas, and uh, I never forget my first experience coming to Austin. I uh, came actually on a, on a uh, unofficial recruiting trip with a buddy of mine who's been recruited for football. And uh, we came down and watched uh, Auburn versus Texas with Bo Jackson. Wow. And uh, what an incredible experience. We go in the locker room after the game, and I'm, I'm like, well, if you don't come, I would love to come. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> but uh, great experience and everything. But I, I love Austin. Uh, it's, it's, it's a home, um, you know, University of Texas. I love, I love being here and being a part of the program. And uh, uh, I've made a had a chance to, you know, make a lot of lifelong friends on, on campus and uh, have had just a tremendous experience being along home. Describe yourself as a coach. You know what? Uh, you know, I think I've, I think I've evolved as a coach. You know, I think over time, I think uh, uh, you grow and uh, uh, you don't coach every possession. When you're young, you want to coach every possession, and you know, you let guys play a little bit. You let guys work through some things a little bit more as you as you get older, and and I think you learn from those experiences and stuff. But I think I'm a I'm a guy that's going to be demanding and want guys to compete at a very high level, and uh, but also be able to pick guys up and and hopefully encourage them to want to be the best they can be. So how have you won this? Long locker room over? I think just being myself. I mean, I'm, I'm a guy that, uh, again, you know, we have high standards and expectations at the University of Texas and in our program, but but at the same time, you know, I think you uh, you have to let, no, let no guys know you, you're there for them at all times. You're going to have a relationship with guys. I think you have to really have a, a relationship with guys in order to be able to coach and push the buttons you have to need. You need to push to motivate them to be the best they can be. Well, it's working, and it's been fun to watch. You're doing a fantastic job heading up this program, and, and you look at the Big 12 standings, your team is right there in the mix. This is a team that's going to make a run, 4-2 and two of conference play, 15-3 and three overall, a really tough schedule, and the team is handling it with flying colors. So when you look at the Big 12 this season, what makes it unique this year? You know every year it's going to be tough. It's going to be difficult. Well, this is your 13th game in the Big 12, you know, and I, I don't recall a year where the Big 12 hasn't been, you know, maybe not the best or the best basketball conference in the country. I mean, you know, every night you're going to get, you know, teams that are well prepared, great coaches in the league. Um, you know, you're going to have elite level talent uh, and uh, older teams that uh, they know how to win, you know, and uh, you go on the road, you know, you're going to have to, you know, be a strongly connected team and, and really value taking care of the basketball and not beat yourselves. and you know, hard-nosed defense in the Big 12. It's a physical league, and uh, but uh, uh, it's it's great. I mean, I've, I've loved being a part of the Big 12, and, you know, I was there the first year that the Big 12 existed, and, uh, um, you know, it's just a highly competitive league. You got to bring your hard hat every night. Yeah, and that really speaks to the matchups against West Virginia. It's always one of those tough, blue-collar, physical games. Give me a little something in, in terms of what you're seeing from the Mountaineers leading up to this next game. Well, you have a Hall of Fame coach and coach Huggins and uh, you know it's always been a guy that really gets the most out of his guys in terms of how hard
how they play and compete on the defensive side of the ball. Um, you know, they've got some guys that can score the basketball for them. We got Trey Mitchell that played with us last year, can really score the ball for them. He's, I think, their second leading scorer this year and stuff. But uh, you have to uh, you have to do a great job of having taking care of the basketball against the Mount Mountaineers. They really uh, they try, try to force you into turnovers and try to speed you up and uh, get you playing faster than you want to on the on the, uh, on the offensive side of the ball. We've got Oklahoma State coming here to the University of Texas, and we'll see that Tuesday, 8 p.m. Central Time, right here on Longhorn Network. What's the biggest key for your guys in this week of preparation leading up to the next matchups? I think just stay in the course. I mean, this league, you know, you're going to have a win with you one night. You're going to have a loss with you one night. Yeah. You have to be the same guy every single day. You can't get too high. You can't get too low. We have to have an even kill every day. And I try to instill it in our, in our, in our guys. You know, you have it for one night. The next day, we start our preparation for the next ball game and uh, uh, just stay the course and continue to just work the process. Can't say this enough, and I echo this from a lot of people, that when I say RT is the right man for this job right now, we mean it. And Texas is in absolutely great hands with you at the helm. So look forward to what you're going to do with this program. And as always, thank you for being gracious with your time and a good dude. RT, appreciate you. LG, I appreciate you, buddy. Thank yep. you so much. We'll have more game plan with Rodney Terry coming up next week right here on LHN.